We live right on the water. I get to look over my shoulder and I see the water right there and just appreciate, just connecting with Mother Earth. And to me, that's just, you know, we talk about connectedness now. And you don't have to necessarily be like a big, you know, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Where Environmentalist. Looking for? Environmentalist. That's the word. I was thinking of kind of, yeah, a different word, but yes. Anyway, let's let's keep it rolling here. I got one last question, and we're talk. We're gonna talk about bliss a little bit, blissful, right? So hashtag blissful, and in in some of the information you sent me prior to the show, you wrote bliss. So I want to talk touch on that before we close. We're about to close here, but I want to sweet sneak this one in. So Terry, from your perspective, why is it crucial for an individual to identify and pursue activities that bring them joy and bliss? You know, it's interesting. This whole thing was born out of a TED Talk from 2009, this conversation we're having. And I knew what the five degrees were real easily, but I deliberated on what that sixth degree was for quite some time. And bliss to me was like the highest form of actualization of joy, happiness, fun, and what life really should be. And so as I thought about bliss and what that meant, I realized that it's incredibly subjective. What brings you bliss? What brings Steve, uh, Rob bliss? What brings anyone on the show bliss and everybody else? Probably going to be a little bit different. And I love that part because that means there's plenty enough of the things that will bring each of us bliss for us to go after it, to chase it with reckless abandon. The other thing is, and, and I've said this for years, and I've said it about peace, I've said it about love, I've said it about happiness or joy. Once you find these things inside of you, you find them everywhere you go. So taking the time to know what brings you joy or happiness or bliss or whatever you want to call it, taking the time to understand what that is, gives you freedom to say no to the things that aren't that. It keeps you focused, right? The successful people that you would talk about, the folks that Napoleon Hill wrote about, they all had a, uh, a definiteness of purpose was the word Hill used. Right. And when you have that, it allows you to make very informed yeses quickly and everything else can be a no. And you can do that with the comfort and confidence that, hey, man, I'm here doing me. Awesome. Thanks.